Here, individual blood cells squeeze through capillaries, slowing down just enough to release oxygen into the surrounding tissues, nourishing the body. In 1962, Dr. Max Perutz was awarded the Nobel Prize for his work on discovering the structure of a protein called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the red stuff of our blood. Without that, we couldn't live. Uh, because uh, without that, we couldn't get the oxygen. So you want to find out how does, how does it transport oxygen? What does it look like? Donut shaped, these red blood cells possess enough hemoglobin to carry millions of oxygen molecules. If you prick your finger, and draw a drop of blood, that contains about 3,000 million red blood cells, which you can see under a microscope. Each of those red blood cells contains 250 million molecules of hemoglobin. It's within this protein, made up of 10,000 atoms, that oxygen is trapped while it's transported around the body. Today, our knowledge is more complete. Using modern technology, we can separate blood into its many components. We find that blood is actually a mixture of many parts, including agents that prevent infection and others that aid clotting. Digested foods and wastes are also transported in the blood. Together with the oxygen-carrying red blood cells, that are suspended in a liquid called plasma. <laughs> 